big science in the form I've been describing it runs into competition not only from manned spaceflight, of course, or from other branches of science like solid state physics or medicine or geology, but it runs into competition with lots of the other things our society needs government to adequately support. We need uh, education to be supported at a level so that a teaching career will be attractive to the best graduates of our colleges, as it now isn't. Our passenger rail infrastructure and our internet access structure, even our bridges, are at a state which look very poor compared to their counterparts in Europe or East Asia. Our patent office is so undermanned it takes years to get a patent uh, application approved. Our, judge, our judiciary is so undermanned that it takes years to get a civil action heard. Uh, our prisons are so undermanned that being incarcerated, the Supreme Court recently decided in some states is, amounts to cruel and unusual punishment. Um, violation of what is it, the Eighth Amendment. Uh, our ports are insecure to um, terrorists. And many Americans go without adequate health care. These are all things that require government support. Now, for each one of the things I mentioned, there are plenty of advocates, just like I'm an advocate for big science. But we tend to get in each other's way. We tend to conflict with each other. I, I ran into an example of this, I'm almost finished, a little while ago, in, in, well, a, a few, some years ago in Texas, I found myself sitting at dinner with a member of the Appropriations Committee of the Texas House, and she she learned I was a professor at the University of Texas, and she began to tell me how, who, how she was enthusiastically supporting more funding for higher education. And of course, this wasn't something I minded hearing. And then I stupidly asked her, and I'm so, I told her, I'm so glad to hear this, what are you planning as the revenue source to support this? And she blinked at me, and she said, oh, no, I'm not planning to raise taxes. We're going to take the money from health care. This is not what we need. What we need is for those of us who care about government support for all the things our society needs to unite, to sh help shift the balance of our economy more away from private goods in the direction of public goods where the real needs of our society are. The real needs of our society are not for more consumer electronics, but for education, health care, scientific research, and so on. And this means higher taxes, which is a hard sell in a time when an anti-tax mania has afflicted the American public. But it's only in this way that we can get adequate funding for all the things that our society really needs, for education, for health care, for infrastructure, and all the others, and also for science of all sizes. Thank you. <laughs>